Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when I feel like the clock on Pearl is and you're listening to my NHL Pearls off list. By the way, I wasn't even supposed to say boys and girls. Apparently, when me saying boys and girls like that, they uh, they, they shadow ban you. They think you're talking to children. And actually, I've had people come on and, and call me a pedophile or something like that. It's a funny little thing that we treat, you know, boys and girls. Hey, boys and girls. Like, I'm treating us like we're playing and having fun and we're being kids. Adults. It's an adult freaking. Ah, I don't understand how people don't get it, but that's all right. I got to stop doing that. <laughs> Just something you'd never even think about brings all this kerfuffle. I wonder, now, I just said kerfuffle, and somebody's going to tell me that that means, like, German for masturbation or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. Anywho, I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to the B-Pal Picks edition of my NHL Pearls of Wisdom, uh, where I give you fine picks five days a week. If you like seven days a week, you can go to the Patreon of Frolic. Which, if you, if, you, if you want it, I'll give you a free month as soon as you sign up. Uh, just uh, And just comment in the comment section. Tell me you'd like to do that. Uh, we also do tennis picks and all kinds of stuff like that. It's not just hockey, but cool. Okay. Uh, so I, I'm, I'm a little late getting this because I, I just did a video. I'm doing a series of Jack Eichel traded to every NHL team. And so far I did Detroit, Ottawa, Detroit, Ottawa. Is it LA, New Jersey? Did, I'm doing two teams for each one. And uh, go check it out. It's pretty cool. I didn't realize there were so many people that think Eichel is like a cancer in the room. Nobody, so many people don't want Eichel. They're like, we don't want that bum. Really, generational player, you don't want him. <laughs> Probably... Top one of the top five forwards in the league, and uh, we don't want that. Nah, couldn't be bothered. And <laughs> I don't know. We go check it out. There's people. Go check out the comments in the comment section. You can find out for yourself. Also, I had to uh, had to comb out my my wig. My wig there because uh, I I lost the bet. Not really a bet. We did a competition on my show, which is three to five Eastern, five days a week. Three, uh, you can go check that out too, or you can just go watch it. It's like already done, so you can watch the old ones, or you can uh, come join me because it's so much fun. That's where we did the picks. We do picks, and I was up against everybody. And if I didn't get first, then I had to do a dare. And they dared me to wear a wig for a month. So that's it. I, I still need to do more primping on it, obviously. But anyways, we're all to, we're now we're just doing fun playoff stuff on there. It's great times. Okay, so we're gonna do picks for the nineteenth, right? That's right. Nineteenth we're doing picks for. And then we'll look at our, how we did today. But first, let's get into our picks. Uh, you know what the cool kids are doing? They're subscribing. Yeah, and I'll send you a My NHL Pearls of Wisdom necklace. Hand-knitted by Helen. Helen's a lady we found in the hallway there a little while ago. We asked her if she liked to like hang out with us. And uh, then we asked her if she liked to knit. And uh, said she started knitting the Pearls of Wisdom necklaces, and she's stayed here ever since. Anyways, we'll Pearlicopter to your door, per, uh, Hernandez or Melissa, and uh, that would be fun. So just touch that subscribe. Just touch it. Touch it. Touch it. Makes you feel good on your insides. I'll tell you that right now. Okay, let's look at our picks for... Okay, let's make sure you guys can see this. Yes, you can. I got to always go back and check to make sure it doesn't get moved over. Uh, Washington, or the Bruins versus the Washington Capitals. Uh, Washington is apparently going to be going with, uh, even if it's Banachek, he I just, 
Vanacek or Anderson, it, to me, is just not good enough. Uh, this is uh, NBC's injury report, and Washington is going to be possibly without Eller. Yeah, he's day-to-day. -day. Could be without Eller. I don't like that too much. They're already hurting up the middle as it is uh, with uh, Kuznetsov uh, being on COVID duty or whatever. And then uh, Vanacek, of course, has been injured, and it might be Anderson. Anderson's good for a game, but if you play him too much, he's like 40 years old. And he was never really the most stamina-driven guy. Or is that the way to put it? He, didn't, he never really had the biggest, most amount of, uh, the greatest stamina is what I'm trying to say. Jeez. Anyways. Uh... What I'm trying to tell you is I think Boston's going to win ML. And I'm going to go the over here. Washington's got enough to score on Rask. Or Rask has been not 100%. So, I'm sorry, I'm watching Pilar get smacked with the freaking ball. Holy crap. Anyways, uh, check that out on YouTube. I'm taking Boston ML. Uh, I think they're going to win the series. Their first game back at home with fans. Now, the last time I said that, all the home teams lost, and I took all the home teams. But uh, this time, that's not going to happen. And I'm going to lean the over. I just... Uh, Boston's really got enough offense to be scoring on Anderson. I think they should have a lot of energy to start out with. I'd almost consider going over one first one and a half, and I don't do that in playoffs very often. But okay, Carolina versus Nashville, and I made him. I made a mistake on this. I didn't say Nashville was going to win the series, but I thought they would make it very interesting, and they still could. They still could, but they just got crushed last game. Um, absolutely crushed. And uh, I made a mistake. My mistake, I think, was that um, in the regular season, Nashville worked their butt off. They played hard, all of those sort of things like that. Well, they really had to put a lot of effort into getting to the playoffs. And I think that is their downfall. Carolina didn't really let anything go either, but they didn't have the stress of always being just on the edge of making the playoffs. You know what I mean? So I think that would wear on Nashville in a condensed season like this, especially. So the way Carolina is ticking, I'm going to have to take them in regulation here. Uh, Carolina in regulation. I, I have a tough time with the total. I think... Because Carolina could run this up. But Saros has been playing so well. There's some travel here. No, there isn't travel. Mm. I don't really like that 174 on the under. I'm on the fence about it. Take the over at 223. If you're on the fence, go with the plus money, right? Might as well. Uh, oh, by the way, Vancouver, Calgary, there's no odds here. Uh, yet, but I'm going to go Demko will be in. I'm going to go back to Vancouver. Take him on the money line, but the under. Big time on the under. Under, under, under. Okay. Uh, Winnipeg versus Edmonton. Let's look at uh, the injury list here. Injuries. Let's make sure you can see it. Is that's the goalies? That's not the injuries. That's not the injury one I'm looking for. Jeez, right here. Injuries. Now let's make sure you can see it. Move it over there. Okay. Winnipeg is going to be without cop and uh, without cop and already without Ehlers and I. They weren't. They were having a difficult time scoring going into the playoffs, and now they lose. 
Andrew Cobb's not a huge score, but he could put him away not bad. Um, and Nikolai Ehlers, of course, was already out and probably was part of that not being able to score problems. But losing Andrew Cobb doesn't help things out too much. Now, it doesn't help it out. It, it, it certainly makes it more difficult to score. Hollebuck will be a net. Going into the la uh, at the end of the season, he, he, he didn't have his best season. Going to the end of the season, he started looking better, though. Uh, that being said, I'm going to take Edmonton here. I just think they'll outscore them. But with Smith, and I'm going to bank that Hellebuck is back to form. And that, uh, I'm again, these totals are tough. Because the first game of a series quite often can go over. They're playing with a lot of pace. They all they want to get the you know get it started. They want to get uh, an edge on their opposition right away. So maybe I should go over. <laughs> What's the total? Let's take a look at the total. The total is six. Mm. I don't think Winnipeg's going to score enough. I'm going to go under six. Yeah, under six at 184. And I'm going to take Edmonton. I'm only going to take him on the money line, though. At 165, it's not great. He's giving up a lot of juice, but uh, it's probably the right play, I would say. Uh, St. Louis versus Colorado. I'm going to take Colorado on a reg. They just clobbered St. Louis last game. Now, I imagine St. Louis is going to come out harder. Uh, I don't think that's the thing in that game. I don't know if St. Louis really played all that bad. Just Colorado played that good. And if they keep on playing like that, I don't think it's going to change. Uh, Bennington was crushing, though. The question is, is he going to be able to keep that up? I'm going to lean the under here just because Bennington was crushing as much as he was, but I'm going to take Colorado and Reg. Okay, there's the picks for all y'all. We're going to look at the picks for tomorrow now. And uh, we'll, uh, if you don't want to do that, you can just head off. Just go, do your, go to your other lands. And do whatever you do. Go talk to your bookie. Put your bets in and all that kind of stuff like that. Off with you now. Off with you. Maybe you got to go to Perla's house of spanking today. Everybody should. Spanking a month keeps the, uh, what away, something away, negativity away. Uh, something, I'll think, I, got, I really got to work on that. <laughs> I need a better slogan than that, that's for sure. Okay, let's go to, I don't want that, I want that, there we go. Now, let's make sure you guys can see it, got to remember that, there we go. Boom. Games from last night. We'll see how we did. Canucks versus Flames. We had Canucks and the over, and we had the Canucks in regulation. Paying about 235. Boom. Did well there. Really well. I'm loving it. Uh, there was a the the Total, of course, was a push because it was six. Not so well in the next two. We had I, I, I went with the Islanders on this. I was really unsure. What I was more sure about was the under, and we did get the under. Uh, Panthers, I don't know what I was thinking here. Sam Bennett was not in. They were weak up the middle. I don't know. I just I bought the cool. I I got the love affair with Florida this year and I got to stop it because Florida is again, like with Nashville, they had to work their butt off to make the playoffs and they worked their butt off all the way through the regular season where the Tampa Bay lightning actually kind of took it easy on some games. And, uh, you know, I was making fun of them all year because of it, but this year it was probably the right thing to do. And I look kind of foolish now, but I did have the under. So, there you go. I had the under. So we're down about half a unit from the, what, two, one, two, three, three and a half. So we're about three units, 
three pearls. Uh, lightning versus Panthers. By the way, a pearl or a unit is the amount you play for one play. So, like, say you like to play 50 bucks, somewhere around there, and 50 buck intervals. So, if you like to, one, one interval would be $50, three would be $150. You see what I'm saying, right? Maybe it's five, and three would be 15. It doesn't matter. Um, Lightning versus Panthers, we had the under there. Yeah, Golden Knights. Versus Wild, we nailed this. We had the Golden Knights for two pearls at 165. So we made like uh, we made like one one and a quarter units, and we had the under for a unit. So we made two units off of that. So we're very up today. Five five pearls right there in your lap. So that's what we did today. Made some money. That's what it's all about. We're going to make some money tomorrow too because you come by and watch another one. Uh, make sure to check out those Eichel trade did to everybody. Also, highly recommend Steel Flyers All Sports Network. If you go on there, you look up the podcasts or you can go to Steel Flyers on YouTube. Steel Flyers. YouTube. Just search it. Pretty sure it's the only one. Now, Steel Flyers All Sports Network is just what it says. It's not about the Steelers or the Flyers necessarily. It's just, that's his name, Steel Flyers. But it's going to be all sports. And uh, one of the people on there happens to be the Flyers is Jim Jackson, who is the voice of the Philadelphia Flyers on NBC. And he's part of our, he's part of our, he's part of the Steel Flyers Network. He's part of our network. Did a really good piece with Steel Flyers on what happened in the regular season with the Philadelphia Flyers, what they should change, how we should look at it. It was, I, I it really, I thought it was fantastic. You might want to check it out too. Uh, okay, I'll see you tomorrow, boys and girls. Thank you. Oh, I can't say that. Stop. Men and women. Have a great day. Okay, bye.